You have not seen this animal before, before this story. And I can tell you, you have not ever seen an animal anything quite like this. This animal was smaller than the Olingo. It had a short face, almost kind of a more pug-like face. Olingos, like other members of the raccoon family, have kind of longish snouts, a bit like dogs. The Olingo has a short, rounded face. It has these tiny ears hidden in the fur, much bigger in, in Olingos. It had a shorter, bushier tail and a more richly colored body. So along with the differences in the skull and the skin, all the comparisons that I made, I was completely convinced that I had a species new to science, a, a new kind of animal, the smallest member of the raccoon family. We haven't been able to find that anyone knows about this animal. There's, we haven't been able to find native names for it. That's why we've used the term Olinguito. Uh, most of the people that we've been uh, you know, able to discuss this with or that you know, we've studied this in various ways don't necessarily even distinguish kinkajous and Olingos and Olinguitos and sometimes not even from um, some of the primates that are out there.